hello ladies and gentlemen welcome back to exotic astrology and somebody asked me a question which i think is a very important question that without knowing astrology or if we have some basic knowledge of astrology how can we um, identify some of the symptoms which some of the planets send to us of some future calamity some future disaster or some lottery or some jackpot anything good anything bad or anything negative or positive depending on what we think is good or bad how to identify that if we are confused with astrology or suppose somebody's dasha has changed so then how do the person know that how will this dasha go <clears throat> will this be good or bad good in which area bad in which area okay so of course this involves a lot of uh, analysis of astrology in depth it's not a very simple topic but over my uh, course of experience uh, limited experience i would say i have seen many real life symptoms real life uh, incidences which happen to you when uh, there's a signal uh, which is uh, about to come through some planets okay and this is more prevalent and this is more prominent if you are in more tune with the universe which means you can read signals you can reading signal doesn't mean that somebody comes and tells you something but you have the intuition and the power and uh, you do sufficient amount of meditation or pranayam or yoga or mantras by which you can delineate the symptoms okay so i'll try to give some basic hints and if you have also got some hints in your past about your future then you can also write it down in the comments pertaining to the planets okay and this will depend on what chart you have which planets are placed in which signs which houses and the nakshatras and the divisional charts and if you want me to help you with that personally then you could go down to the description section of my videos where you will find the link to my website to book a reading with me okay and yes if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you like this video click the thumbs up at the end and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him and yes today is the occasion of uh, balram jayanti it is the appearance day of uh, lord balram he is krishna's elder brother so it is a great day for us today to start uh, spiritual activities because balram ji is the source of all the strength in the spiritual realm okay and the material also so today is the day when we should start some spiritual activity if we are planning to do and uh, many people who had taken consultations from me in the last days i told them to start the mantras from today and uh, it is also raksha bandhan rakhi bandhan if i am correct in india today or maybe it's tomorrow i don't know when exactly it is and today is also uh, the occasion of independence day of india all right so uh, let us uh, spread the divine knowledge of the scriptures like the ramayana mahabharata and shrimad bhagavatam and also the bible and the quran because india is primarily the land of spirituality and divinity and wisdom and India was once upon a time the leader or leading spiritual uh, founder <laughs> in the entire world but uh, now India has unfortunately uh, lost that status okay so let us all as Indians or as anybody we are <laughs> let us spread the divine knowledge of the scriptures so that uh, we can again uh, restore uh, India's glory back to that position okay because that is what will ultimately transform this world all right so now cutting short to the topic suppose uh, somebody's mercury dasha has started okay for example so you will uh, always see like uh, once in my case what happened was i i have a pen with which i write i mean i had that pen once upon a time but when my mercury's dasha was about to start then the pen that nib broke okay <laughs> and then what happened there was an exam which i had to give now of course uh, this will depend on so many other factors the exam there was another exam which i was supposed to give so then what happened is that exam i could not do well and i just passed the exam and then later on i told the, the professor can i retake the exam and then he said that 
in in this university you can't do that if you have passed a subject you have to declare that you have failed in that subject i mean you have to surrender your grades and only then you can give another exam okay but the thing is uh, i did not take risks but so i <laughs> i thought better let the grade stay as it is okay so that is one indication that because mercury is the karaka for pen and you know writing and all this stuff so uh, if there are some issues with mercury during that time then these are this is one symptom you could get okay and many times uh, like in india they used to say that uh, if milk falls down it is a bad uh, symptom what do they say apshagun they say like this yes why do they say like this now uh, more modern people they think oh this this you know old rishis these people were fools and idiots they were having no knowledge you know they will just see something and you know, oh this has fallen that is bad this is good you know this is all superficial stuff no it's not like that when you do not understand the logic behind this then we think this is a superstition or this is superficial or something like that. because as per astrology uh, we know that uh, moon is the significator of our mind okay so why was it say why do they say that if milk falls down it is inauspicious why do they say that because uh, milk is also signified by moon okay so when uh, milk has fallen down it means it is getting wasted so this means that our mental energy moon which represents the mind will also be very soon wasted in some form or the other okay so that means uh so some some negative event can happen in our life which may give us a lot of pain inside okay and therefore one of the biggest remedies of the moon is to drink milk uh, in the night okay that will greatly improve our moon and by that what happens is i have seen people who do this uh you can put some saffron and some uh, turmeric and you can drink it in the night okay just before you sleep uh people who have done this i have seen that uh, their mental health has greatly improved and uh, the best thing that i have seen is their uh, waste waste time has gone down okay because if moon is badly placed to some extent mercury also we, we will have a tendency to waste a lot of time so if you feel that you waste too much time then i am saying you there's a big remedy okay just in the night just one small cup cup will also do a glass will do or a cup whichever you want <laughs> no salt no sugar no flavor no additives no no badam milk no kesar milk just some saffron some kesar you put and just heat it and some turmeric yellow red that's it that's done okay two three strands of saffron not more than that because too much saffron can put us into rajas okay in rajoga and that's not good you see so that is one uh, indication by which we can know that there's some issue with the moon now what about jupiter Jupiter, uh, I have seen, and people also tell me that <clears throat> if their Jupiter Antar or Mahadasha or Pratyantar is about to start, and they have some disagreement, or uh, they have some quarrel or some fights with some some guru or some senior or some elder, which who they have in their family or in their college, in their school, in the university or in their company also, okay. then it is an indication that uh, there could be some serious issues uh, during that dasha period okay <clears throat> on the contrary i have seen uh, it could happen that suddenly when the dasha starts if the dasha is good then suddenly you will find a very good guide okay so uh, i know a person who told me that when his jupiter dasha started jupiter was very well placed Uh, he got a lot of financial uh, upliftment and a uh, lot of perks jupiter also gives you perks by the way okay uh, but but what happened was he as soon as he joined a new company so he uh, he was assigned a mentor and the mentor was very good because jupiter represents the mentors okay so if jupiter uh, dasha is indicating good things then this is one symptom which you could get okay by which you can know how the dasha will go or you can get some good news of a birth of some birth of a child not not your child necessarily somewhere else also so suppose your jupiter dasha starts and you get a good news that suppose your uh, family member your uncle or your aunt your elder brother or anybody or your younger brother younger sister anybody calls you and says that uh 
my dear sir i just had a childbirth and you know the delivery is good and everything is perfectly fine then you know that's a good uh, omen which is happening okay but suppose somebody calls you and says you know i had an abortion and the child did not live then that is another difficult symptom of some challenges which could come okay and uh, and especially for mercury one thing i forgot to say is i've also seen that if some gadget of yours uh, is not working then uh, it's very important to fix it okay because then what happens is we are using the neg the the bad energy of mercury because it's like a bad gadget which is not functioning is like uh, ruining the energy of mercury okay so either throw that away or use a new gadget okay but don't use a gadget which is not working either repair it and make sure it works properly okay i mean it will never work the way you, it used to work five years back but at least in the current situation it should be able to function okay and if it doesn't work then please uh, take a new gadget okay so that's what mercury represents now for uh, moon i already told you okay and for moon in general i have seen if you get if moon dasha is about to start or some planet is conjunct with moon and that planet dasha is going to start then if you get a bad emotional news okay somebody has had a divorce or a breakup or somebody died you know or any anything bad in general because moon represents all or everything in fact you know moon represents all the things that we feel about okay or if our near and dear one they have passed or something like that you know or the opposite happens somebody has been born or somebody is getting married okay or uh, any, anything it can be you know so any any good news if you get during moon dasha or if you get some good news about cows or uh, swans you know any animal that looks white these kind of things then you can know that this dasha has positive things in store and then uh, for jupiter yes as i said uh, the biggest indication is some guide or some mentor will come or if it's the opposite you could have a quarrel or some fight or disagreement okay then let's talk of venus the uh, one of the biggest indicators that venus sends is during the dasha is uh, you will uh, meet uh, people who whose clothes will either be good or bad okay or uh, your clothes some of them may be destroyed okay now it's very peculiar how it happens like one person told me that uh, he was uh, supposed to get married marriage was finalized everything was fixed but then uh, one day what happened uh, when he was about to go to the office then he opened his door and the moment he stepped out uh, his uh, coat you know, which by wearing which he was supposed to go to the office uh, that got stuck in that uh, hook of the door and uh, the coat was torn off completely okay so that that because venus is the karak for clothes okay venus and moon to some extent so when that happened then it is a clear indication that uh, there could be some challenges within the marriage and later on he told me that uh, his uh, marriage which was finalized uh, broke off and the marriage was cancelled and now he's again searching for somebody else okay so these are the things which happen and uh, if you have some uh, especially venus uh, represents uh, the cheeks okay the the lotions which you apply so if you feel that uh, see that some lotion has fallen down and it has broken or the other one somebody comes and gives you a lotion you know then it means the other way around okay and if somebody gives you some nice cloth okay uh, and somebody comes and uh, tells you that oh uh, why don't you wear this color this color looks good on you that color doesn't look good on you some good suggestion if somebody gives you okay or venus also represents vehicles so if there's a damage in vehicle then you might say that there could be a damage in relationships okay or the other way around if you purchase a nice vehicle okay and then maybe your relationships also improve this, this is something which i have seen practically okay and uh, one of the biggest remedies of venus is if uh, if you feel that your relationships are not good uh, then uh, if you know somebody who has had very good and stable relationship or marriage then uh, you could go and tell them that uh, we want to purchase your car for second hand this much price or we will pay you the same money which we would have paid uh, you if this was a first hand car okay 
because then you will also be able to harness that good energy which uh, that couple has because of their good relationship or their good marriage okay so this is a very big uh, remedy for venus and i have seen this working people their married lives improve okay now nobody will sell you the car just like that you know you have to tell them i'll give you the same price which you had you know one or two years back when you purchased as if you are going to take a new car now okay so now with that money they could purchase okay and on the other side also if you don't uh, know how a person is or how his or her relationships are please do not take that car in second hand okay because then that energy will come if your married life is good and if that person's married life is not good that energy transfer can create disturbances in your married life okay and for some reason or the other i have seen that uh, people who have difficult relationships now this is a subjective experience in my knowledge uh, i have seen that they are always buying second hand cars or they are buying cars which are not in a good condition okay so buy this uh, second hand cars are fine but if the car is not in a good condition and if you want a car then please repair it and uh, make it reasonably good okay as, as, in a way that it can function properly because if you are using a car which is you know not good or which is uh, i mean not not necessarily it's very luxurious it can be a normal car but it should be functioning properly okay so if the car is not good then please repair it and get it proper okay set it in a proper pace so that uh, your relationships are also good okay and uh, yeah there are many and so so for saturn i have seen uh, if you have some subordinate or some employee then that person may leave the company okay so suppose you are a boss and your best employee says that you know i want to leave because then you have to search another employee then you have to it's a big headache searching another employee you know who, who can perform that well as that employee who was supposedly your best employee so then you have to you know keep searching 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 take interview so that's a rigorous process so there you see saturn is indicating at the same time if a new person joins your company if your saturn has started and that person is doing very good then you know that this dasha is indicating good things okay and saturn can also indicate bones okay to some extent so if you have pain in your bones or saturn can indicate uh, general pain so in, if, if you have general pain in your body and saturn is also the natural significator of bad health jupiter is the natural significator of good health so if saturn starts and there are body problems very severe problem then you know there is some issue in the dasha okay <coughs> and then which planet is winning oh we forgot sun <laughs> yeah so for sun if you see that uh, you are having issues with your boss or your boss has changed now that could be a good or a bad indication okay that your boss has changed and a new boss has come okay or it can be anybody who is giving you resources because sun represents resources because sun is the significator of light to the sun all the resources come okay so if somebody it could be anybody in fact your elder brother or some friend he could also represent the sun okay he or she even sometimes your mother could also represent the sun maybe your mother is providing you a lot of things okay i mean i'm not talking to a baby or a small child but suppose you're grown up but still your mother provides you a lot of things you know then although she she's technically the moon but now she's behaving like the sun okay and the other could be true with the father also that if your father is giving you more of emotional support then technically he's the sun but uh, he can also behave like moon sometimes okay so it uh, it's not more of the technicality or the gender it depends on what the functionality is okay uh, what that what kind of role that person is playing into your life okay so these kind of things okay or if you get some notice of tax or customs from the government <laughs> yes that you have this much fine then that could be an indication that uh, sandasha could be challenging or suppose the government decides we will give you you know bharat ratna padma shri padma vibhushan or maybe nobel prize then it's a great indication that great things are indicated in dasha okay or some promotion you get sun is the significator of name and fame some promotion you get that is a very big indicator okay so then mars mars if good then bodily strength could be there you could be very much enthusiastic for working towards your body and your health okay taking new initiatives in life taking taking new directions okay going out and uh, relieving others from pain and suffering 
but if you end up giving suffering to others or if you get become more angry mars is the karak for aggression okay aggression means uh, blasting on somebody uh, for, for no good reason or punishing people more than they deserve okay or if somebody comes and punishes you for more than what you did wrong then that could be an indication that uh, mars dasha could have some challenges okay and then for rahu and ketu if uh, as i said rahu represents the 11th house so if during rahu dashas or rahu antar dasha especially i have seen if you meet good people yes good people who uplift you who are investing good things into your ears then rahu is going to be good during the dasha okay uh, and if they are pulling you towards alcohol or meat or wine or porno pornography prostitution sexuality or doing other crazy stuff which they think is very good then uh, rahu dasha will be difficult okay even if rahu makes you a millionaire you will still be miserable because your friend circle is miserable okay so and for ketu i have seen if you visit some spiritual place and there is some serious problem there you know like you lost your passport or you lost your mobile or somebody cheated you or some some major crisis if it happens if you visit some spiritual place then that could be a indication that ketu dasha could be difficult but if you go and join a spiritual community where you know you find great people who motivate you spiritually then ketu dasha's indication is very good okay so let us check uh, sun we covered moon we covered mars jupiter venus saturn rahu ketu did you cover all yes hopefully okay mercury also so these are the ways by which we can uh, get an idea of what is going on okay and uh, if you have any other experiences or similar experiences of how to know what the planets are talking to us then you can always write it down in the description okay and if you want a consultation from me and you want a technical analysis using astrology and divisional charts and nakshatras and you want to know how the planets will behave for you then uh, you can always go down to the website down in the description section to book a reading with me okay god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him thank you very much